but Fukuo Twerkin is a very aggressive player. I remember Fukuo from NEC. Oh, yeah. He surprised a lot of people. Everybody thought he was just an online warrior, just a just a monster. He would never show up. Well, he proved him wrong because we're That's in his it. home state. Mm. All right. Let's get this in. Peanuts. Fukuo Twerkin. I've been actually, ever since I whittled down top eight here, uh, I've been greatly anticipating this match, but I have no idea how it's going to turn out. All right. Say again, it's like you said, there aren't too many people who actually rock with Peacock like this. Yeah. So again, it's definitely, she's, if I were to, like, you no know, make any type of real comparison. That was perfect. Like, Damn. No, if I can make any type of real comparison, the quickest person that I can use to set as a parallel would probably be Faust. Simply on the fact, again, like just how much pressure they can provide and how random Peacock really can be. Absolutely. He was absolutely an uh, inspiration to get behind this character. A little bit of foul, a little bit of cable. Definitely. And just, oh, oh good God. heavens, no. Oh, let it go. I don't know, I'm not sure if he could actually capitalize on that or not. That's a, probably would have been a hard but rock. But this is going to get the first. Yeah. It's he like basically that. sacrificed her. In yeah. order to keep Fugu alive, but Damn. it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna pay off. Peanuts. McPeanuts making it work right now. McPeanuts is an extremely clean player. He's very calculated in everything. He goes back. He analyzes his footage. He, uh, right. he analyzes other people's footage, opponents, everybody. He's a thinking okay. man player. Right, so the old work team yeah. just goes in. in. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's see how this works out. And again, like just the beauty of Peacock is that she can, you know, it doesn't even matter where she really is. She can pretty much commandeer the entire screen. She can send out the bomb, she can come up with the grab, she can send out the bullets. You no, know, she's always known to keep you guessing. Yeah. You no, know, we're seeing it right now. She's pretty much overwhelmed. Yeah. You no, know, twerk team right now. He can put hitboxes literally anywhere on the screen. And again, there's like very little way of getting around it. Yep. Okay, like the margin for error going up against an expert peacock player is so narrow, so small, that again, the second you make that one drop, game over. Yeah, right now, it gets it. Now, was that the laser or was that the drop that got it? Could have, I, I think it was the laser. All right. right. Like said, again, it's it, impossible it. to tell right now. Peacock is all over. Twerk team, again, just getting shut down. It's. Mm. All right. This is the man, Grant. Goes to the trip. Oh, let's see if we can get a pick. Oh, up. he ah. wasn't able to capitalize. And he's All right, the, comes back. the hidden advantage of the Peacock Big Band team is that when you try to happy birthday, it won't work. Right. Their weights are completely different. Their hurt boxes are completely different. So they will not carry out that way. Fuqua Twerk team suffers from the exact opposite. He has Philia and Fuqua. Once you collect them into a combo, they are completely overlaid. You won't yeah. even see one behind the other. It's a perfect carry. Nice now, question is, and one thing that I've noticed in them in Kenas, I don't, haven't seen him go for like it yet. That. And again, this is just what I was about to ask. I didn't get to see him go for the backpipes. So again, I figured if he can get the backpipes out, once he connects it with the no super form, he would have got the two, and then that would have been it. Absolutely All right. devastating. Okay, so again, just like that, two matches down. Two matches down, just All like right. that. It's so been a quick. Yet. I'll be honest. It's, we had 23 entries, mm -hmm. and that bracket went fast. We had a ton of two O's. And it all comes down to two types of matchups, character matchups and playstyle matchups. There you have it. And all right. So again, we got these two. Some down. stuff looks good on paper, but in practice, it in doesn't practice. Work. So again, the question is, what is the next matchup that we're gonna have? Next matchup, we're gonna have all to right. run. We're gonna have to run. Well, is, where's Sonic? Is Sonic playing right now? More than likely. I told somewhere. Sonic to come over here as soon as he was done, and it doesn't look like he's quite done. So okay. we're gonna go right. ahead. No, he's, okay, so that. we're gonna go on to Cloud King and Drewski. Cloud King, King and Drewski. All right. Now again, I remember Drewski. Hey, Drewski. All right. I remember Drewski from before. He's a very interesting character, you know, a very interesting player, and he's going up against Cloud King. Yep. So where's this Cloud King? That's the question. All right. Hey, man. <laughs> Neither one of these guys were... Uh, we're wanting to go on first, so I had to, <laughs> I had to run losers first. Hey, it's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. Yep. But 
These are two very strong players. Uh, who's on first player side? This is a uh, on Cloud King. Cloud oh, King. Cloud King. Okay, that's what I thought. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, again, we were dealing with the KOF top lane. Actually, with KOF pools yesterday. And one of the things that came